Hi guys, Samsung now here uh, with the 1180.5 fix. I would recommend that you watch the prior video where I discuss the problems that I've had, which correlate with some of the ones that you guys have had, and also where I discuss some of the issues that you guys have had too. In this fix, we're looking to correct a lot of those problems that you guys have ha had. Obviously, it's not going to fix everything and you're still going to require a bit of tweaking on your part to get your picture how you want it rather than you know the fix fixing everything for every panel because there are tolerances in panels so the first thing you need to do is to reset your tv um, to make sure you start off from a clean slate and um, you do that through going the start setup route what that does it will reset your tv to standard you know just wipes everything off and then you start off again so you do that and then the next thing you need to do is to turn your tv off and then remove the breakout box take that off and then take the power cable out of your tv for a couple of minutes and let your tv settle down and then do you know do its thing and then when you're ready to restart you put the breakout box reconnect that and then add, connect the power cable to your TV and then restart your TV that'll completely reset your TV um, because there's no on and off proper on and off switch with the TV taking out the power cable will reset everything internally too in terms of hardware so that's a good starting point. Um, the next thing we need to do is start off from a decent preset. And of course, you know, there's, there's mine, which I use. So we'll cover, go through that. So first of all, we will go make sure you're set to movie on the picture mode. So, you know, we just go through and then we select movie go back there we go so make sure movie is selected then from there we go to picture picture mode we've got movie there you can adjust it there of course special viewing mode make sure those are turned off game mode and HDR plus and sports mode make sure that's turned off picture size 16.9 expert so we go to expert settings so this is what we have right now um, and then I'll go over some of if you're getting uh, certain things I'll cover what you need to do for those so first of all set your backlight at 20 if you want your movies to pop and everything to sort of have what your panel is capable of doing then you need to set the backlight at backlight at 20 because that is the setting that HDR works at, that your panel is set to work at, the same with the brightness and the contrast, 20, 45, 100. I've seen a lot of fixes adjust these ridiculously, and it's just taking too much away from what your tally is capable of and is designed to do. So, you know, if you want Ultra HD Plus or whatever this uh, TV is certified at, make sure you got these there sharpness at zero color at 50 tint at, uh tint green uh, and red at 50 50 um, apply to all sources so not at just a current source but all sources digital clean view off analog uh, clean view off auto motion plus off smart led set to high this um uh, or helps with the auto contrast thing which we'll go over in a moment it localizes um, how strong the LED works in certain sections of your TV so it's rather than applying it broadly it does it more of a, of a focus um, film mode off HDMI UHD color this will be set to all your connections on your breakout box auto black level I've not been able to turn that off on any of the settings Dynamic contrast set on high. This works very well with LED, smart LED set on high. Um, so they both work very well. Dynamic contrast 
um, basically concentrates the contrast on um, on certain areas of the TV and I've noticed that it works very well with smart LEDs set at the same value. Color tone set to warm 2, there are other options but warm 2 is the most natural. And then white balance, we just go through that. Uh, we have it set at 2 point. Um, so we've got minus 7, minus 6, minus 8, minus 1, minus 1 and minus 4. And then 10 point um, uh, so at 100% it's set at minus 1, minus 3 and minus 8. At 90 we've got minus 7, minus 6, minus 8. At 80 we've got minus 12, minus 9 and minus 7. At 70 we've got minus 10, minus 9 and minus 6. At 60 We've got minus 8, minus 8, and minus 9. At 50, minus 4, minus 3, minus 1. At 40, my, uh, 3, 3, and 10. 30, 0, minus 1, minus 1. 20, minus 11, minus 11, minus 13. 10, minus 13, minus 14, and minus 15. So those are the white balance settings. Gamma set at zero. RGB only mode obviously off because that adds a filter to your um, uh, TV. And now the custom settings for the color. We have magenta set at 38, 8, and 48. Cyan 20, 46, 55. Yellow, 54, 52, and 6. Blue, 0, 3, and 60. Green, 22, 53, and 6. Red, 48, and 2. Um, so that's where we are with the custom settings. In the next video, I'm going to cover the um, the settings that you need to adjust to stop some of the issues that I know some of you guys are having. So make sure your TV is set to these first and then we'll go through some of the additional settings that I apply to make some of the issues that I've had and I know some of you have had go away. Okay guys, thanks again. See you in the next video.